I honestly, I just want to say this. I'm not a good developer. I'm really not. All right, guys, what is up, YouTube, man? It's good to see you guys again, and I am back with another video. I know it's pretty much amazing. I went from uploading one video a month to uh, uploading two videos a month. For now, I'm uploading four videos a week. The goal is to go five days a week really soon, so I'm really excited to produce content for you guys. But anyway, man, today, I really want to share something that, honestly, I personally never thought I would share with you. What I'm about to share and talk about is something that's very... <laughs> It makes me really vulnerable, to be quite honest, man, because with this industry being as competitive as it is, this is embarrassing for me. At the same time, just because it's embarrassing doesn't mean that I shouldn't share it with you guys. I've been documenting my journey as a developer for a very long time, and I've shared everything with you. And the reason I want to share this with you guys right now is because I've been receiving so many messages, man about people thinking that they cannot become a developer now because of COVID. Yo, you guys need to understand that there are so many positions that are not going to be filled this year because the demand for developers is so real, but there's not that many people who can do it or do it well. So the question then is, will you be that person that can do it well? And the thing is, for me, even though I've had a job as a developer for the last four years straight, even when I got laid off, I was only laid off for like three days and I got a new job. Yo, I was never the best developer at those companies. So let me go straight to the point right now. At every single company that I have worked at, guys, I have literally, I was the worst developer at every company I've ever worked at. Like if you were to list out the names of developers, what they did from the most important developer to the least important. At my first developer job, I was literally at the bottom of the list. I mean, it is because I was hired as a junior developer. So as a junior developer, you obviously don't know much and I knew almost nothing, right? So that made sense. I was learning from everyone. But even when I joined my second developer job as a mid-level developer, moving on up, of course, because the things that I'm doing at my second job as a mid-level, going from junior to mid-level developer, man, I'm doing things I never did before. There's a lot of things with the terminal I didn't know I can do. Working with Gulp, working with all these different databases, working in PHP, working in Laravel, working in just Twig, a front-end PHP templating engine, right, that I worked with all the time. Working in the CMS, all these different things that I've never worked at. Things that I never personally learned, but I had to learn on the job. But of course, because I was so new to that, I was at the bottom of that company in regards to developer. Even like, there's this other person who joined the company after me, but she's been coding for like eight to 10 years. So even though I was at the company longer than her, even though she didn't know as much front of development as I did, because she's been coding for so much longer, of course she was able to bring even that much more value than me. So this has been tough as a developer for me to be at these companies and to be at the bottom of that just list. You know, it's so interesting. Although it sucked, it, like, it was depressing for me. It hurt my pride. There were so many times I really wanted to give up Fortunately, I didn't, but what made me keep going was that, okay, for some weird reason, I personally love being the underdog because I like to exceed expectations. I'm the person where, you know what, you think I'm like this, or you know what, I'm at the bottom here, I'm gonna do my best and do even better. So for me, what was that? It was, even though I was like at the bottom of the barrel, right? Even though I was at the bottom, yo, I was the guy that the whole world was following to see their journey as developer. I was a guy who had this huge following, not huge, but for me, it's huge. You guys are amazing to me. To have this amount of subscribers just watch me. Even though I probably wasn't the best paid developer at that company, YouTube adding the top of my salary, yo, I was able to live very comfortably. It, it was kind of cool for me because even though I was an underdog, my channel helped me feel like, you know what, even though I may not be as valuable as I want to be at that company, yo, I'm bringing value to you guys on YouTube. And I, and, and I know why this happened, by the way, because if I didn't have this YouTube channel, yo, I would have studied so much more code. I would have been a much better developer with a, for a fact. I know that for a fact, but I willingly sacrificed that and those opportunities because I really love being able to share my journey with you guys, man. And so the reason I'm sharing this is, yo, like, I honestly, I just wanna say this. I'm not a good developer. I'm really not. I am skilled. I have a lot of experience in <laughs> I have a lot of experience in failing dudes, but I have never once considered myself to be good. The only reason I'm able to do what I did is because I failed so much. 
And like I said so many times before, guys, I am so slow when it comes to learning new things. I'm really slow. I have to put in that much more effort. And to be honest, I'm surprised I even kept my job there. And at the same time, it makes sense why out of all the developers, I was the first one to be laid off during COVID because I was the least valuable one at that company, man. And it's so embarrassing to say this because I know how much hate people leave in the comments, but I don't care. I don't share this for those haters. I'm sharing this because I want you to understand that, yo, yes, you should be a good developer. Yes, that should be your goal. But yo, you don't have to be the best developer to get a job out there, man. Because I wasn't, I'm still not. But yeah, so I am the senior front end developer at my company. I'm the one that chooses the technology. I'm choosing if I want to work in React or if I want to work in Svelte.js. If I want to use Materializer or if I want to use Bootstrap. If I want to use whatever, if I don't want to use WordPress, how I want to implement Google Analytics, how I want to implement making sure that the website is fully functional and works and qualifies for everything in regards to accessibility. I get to choose all of that, which is amazing, right? But I am able to do that now because of all the failures I had in the past. It took me four years to get to how I am now. It took me four years to be above average developer, I could say. I'm not the best, I'm still not the best, but I'm definitely above average because of just my experience. Not because I'm just so talented. It's because I freaking worked my butt off, man. And so for everyone out there who thinks you have to be the perfect developer to get that first job, man, you do not. You just have to show that potential, that passion. I did not get hired at my jobs because I had the skill. I knew nothing on my first job. When I got hired an entrepreneur, I still, like, I wasn't that good at JavaScript, man. Like, I really wasn't. Now JavaScript's easy. I can learn any language in, like, give me a month. I'll, I can learn any language in a month. But it's because of my experience, man. And so I just really want to share, man, like, yo, I'm not that good. And so it, it blows my mind away that so many of you guys actually follow me here on YouTube. Like, it, it, it makes no sense. <laughs> And again, like the only reason I got to where I am now is because I got laid off. The only reason that I'm at this company now, leading my own team and choosing what technology to use is because that company didn't see me as valuable. So when they had to lay off the first developer, who did they lay off first? It's me. But I'm so thankful that happened, dudes, because yo, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was getting bored at that company. That's why I'm going into even cybersecurity now. <laughs> but anyway, man, I just wanna let you guys know, yo, you do not have to be the best person out there. As long as you're really determined, as long as you're really trying your best, that's what matters. And number one, when it comes to company, yo, as long as you fit the culture, that's what's important. Willing to learn, willing to fail, and being humble. Anyway, I don't expect this video to get a lot of views, but I just really wanna share this video for the few out there who need to hear this. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all, man. And if you guys haven't yet, man, if you guys like to check out this hoodie, dudes, check this out. This is a developer branded hoodie. It's on developerbrand.com. If you guys want to give me support, that'd be awesome. If not, don't worry about it. You can check it out in the link description below. And if not, just like, if you can leave a like, give me a comment, encourage me, please, because I am a sucky developer. Anyway, love you all. This is Krishan. This is the Life for a Developer in the Mount. Peace.